Hey guys, Captain Foley here with you again. Um, I just did a, uh, uploaded a video of what I drew for my girlfriend for um, Valentine's Day. And I thought you guys might like to see some more of my art. So, without any further ado, let's get right down to that. So there's the one I drew of her. Here's a lot of my loose leaf art. So there's like a tribal dragon. That one's called Engage. It's the Enterprise D going to warp. This one I drew in high school. Enterprise A. Fate protects fools, small children, a ship's named Enterprise. Star Trek, Phaser. Two ship, Johnny Federation of Planets logo. That was for like a role playing game I was gonna do. There's a refit and another refit there. This is from the book um, Prime Directive. These were drawn when I was in high school, so this is a long time ago. Um, that's just a dis based on the description of the Enterprise in the book. That was damaged and Damage to the warp engines. There's my Excalibur sword coming out of the water, Lady in the Lake. There's a character I designed um, back in the day. His name is Night Stalker, as that's my name on all of my gaming sites and everything. My uh, gaming name is Night Stalker with a K. Usually dash 666 afterwards, because Night Stalker's already been taken by some other people. Has Night Stalker met his match? No, we didn't think so either. Kind of like a, did a comic book kind of thing. That, I think I traced that one, actually, to be honest with you, except for the helmet. I designed that myself, because it was actually a guy's head. That was from the uh, comic Camelot 3000 that I traced that out of. There's the Phoenix from Battle of the Planets, or G-Force, as it used to be called, or Gachiman, as it was originally called. There's paper. This is designed for a tattoo I wanted to do. There's another design for a tattoo I wanted to do on my back, which I never got done and never will because that's just retarded. I do have tattoos, but so there's Night Stalker again. By Night Stalker. <laughs> there's Sherlock Holmes, Phantom of the Opera, Rocketeer, Death. Yet another design for the tattoo I wanted to do, and since Night Stalker, uh, I was writing a novel at the time too, which is a vampire novel. Got three chapters done, but the main character's vampiric name was Night Stalker. That's why there are the teeth on each side. It's big into vampires back then. And this is Johnny Blaze from my old girlfriend. It took me forever to draw that. There's my artist signature. It's different than my regular signature, so put that on all my art. But that's uh, Johnny Blaze from Ghost Rider Spirits of Vengeance comic. That's just the train layout I want to do for my N scale trains, train set. And there's Boba Fett. It's way back in 98. This is quite a while ago. Another Boba Fett picture. R2-D2, my favorite Star Wars character. There's a photocopy of that Johnny Blaze picture, because originally I didn't have the original that I just showed you. It was um, with my ex, but I did get it back. So there it is, that. Those are just doodles. Optimal Optimus from Beast Machines, or Beast Wars, sorry. Another Excalibur, Lady in the Lake. Sailor Mercury um, used to be kind of a 
into the manga, as you can see here. And yeah, I'm a pervert, so they're nude. Uh, Blood in the Water, just drew a shark. Just some doodles. Uh, that's just a quick sketch I did of my um, oldest daughter when she was sleeping. It's really awful, so I apologize. That's just, yeah. Let the games begin. Once again, I'm a pervert, so I apologize if this offends you. Uh, I drew this for my daughter. Never give up on your dreams. That was 1999. There's my little, my youngest daughter, Cassie. Just a quick sketch I drew there. Oh, excuse me, I just gotta sit down here. Zoinks. Don't have to tell you who they are. That's just some kind of doodle sketch I was working on. Here's some more. Deformed Autobot and Decepticon emblems. Um, Optimus Prime. Feather. Starscream. That one I like. That one I'm pretty proud of. Megatron. Also pretty good. His upper torso is kind of too small, but meh. There's a guy pointing a gun at you. Unholy retribution. Uh, just more doodles working on designs for the tattoo. Night Stalker with the TV and the sword. I collect swords also. This one is my favorite. Um, being a hand and a half broadsword. Here is Optimus Prime, super deformed, what the fuck? Because <laughs> it's just, the proportions are all off. A Batman silhouette. My youngest daughter, Cassie, drew that. It's supposed to be your Cabbage Patch Kid, so I thought that was kind of cute. There's a sword I quickly sketched out. There's a sword picture I was going to do of somebody holding a samurai sword with their face behind it. I got the sword done, but... Just doodles, my Xbox, the Phoenix, laptop, my Camaro. Mark from Battle of the Planets, or G-Force. Kind of weird upper torso there, but... That's from Futurama. Instead of Fry, I put... This is what Free, Fry had drawn. And yeah, I put H31, because... How old I was when I drew it, I made it to look like a kid's sketch. And just more doodles. This is the maximal text from Beast Wars. Um, there's actually translation, and if you read the screens and you translate from on screen this, um, what they have on their screens, this one was one of the translations from the episode Maximal No More. They, had, they killed Kenny of those bastards on the screen. And this is the Predacon script. Here's my Sword of Omens. I'm really proud of this one. This is a good one. That's just some dude I drew. I think that's supposed to be Kirk. I don't know. I was going to work on a side swipe there, but I didn't get it finished. More Phoenix. This picture of my daughter Cassie. Quick sketch. Not very good again. Oi. There's another tattoo I was working on. This is my sword, of course, with the sheath and a distorted version of the Decepticon logo that I designed. There's Decepticon logo there. Homer, something, a warp engine. More doodles. My son Thomas playing his DS. A weird gnarly tree, Halloween. I was going to draw a phaser there, didn't get around to it. Some kind of weird foot. Some wicked cool weapon. A dragon. I think those are probably supposed to be boobs, but I turned them into a frog. There's just a bunch of sketches. Rose, vampire skull, glasses, gargoyle, my iPhone. Same gargoyle again from the side. Tiger. Angel. The way I want our front yard to look from above. There's my Dodge Caravan in the driveway. The garbage can and recycling bins at the side door. 
I want to do a sidewalk and a flower bed and haven't got that done yet either. A skull, another skull, an early draft of this, just a quick rough sketch and then tidied it up to do that, thank God. That I did in probably about 20 minutes and that took me a few hours so that goes to show you what I can do if I actually try. And that's it for now. So there you go guys, what do you think? There's a lot more to good old Captain Foley than just building models. Um, like I said, I collect swords, Transformers, Sherlock Holmes, Phantom of the Opera, Star Trek, Star Wars, books, um, Titanic. I'm into a lot of things, history. So multifaceted. So I just thought I'd let share that with you guys and um, thanks for tuning into my channel. Um, just check back, I'm gonna be doing lots of things, building models, I'll show you my collections, a lot of things are going to be going on in the upcoming little while, okay? So, thanks for tuning in. Captain Foley, out. Bye-bye. Hey guys, just a quick update to that last video. Um, I said that I had uh, tattoos. I did design my own tattoo, so I'm going to show you that right now. There it is right there, the sword going through the demon head. So, that's another one I've done. Another piece of art. So, yeah. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Bye.